Good morning everyone, or maybe good evening to you. It's 9 o'clock in the morning here in Canada. And thank you to my viewers who pushing me <laughs> to this roses bag. This is canvas of roses from Fancel. And in my previous videos I said that I will put this diamond painting a little bit aside because I need to finish some other project and uh, looks like I can't really do this I need to finish and I thank you for reminding me about this uh, it's it's a hanging in my craft room on a hanger right up front my face every time I walk by uh, but I just wanted to I work a lot on a Dreamer Design canvas on a new one, uh, 2.0 version on um, Dreams of Elysium uh, because I want to finish that canvas and that particular canvas is really really big so it's take me time and it's really lots of confetti up there so um, I work a lot on that canvas and I think I finish about uh, maybe more than half if I look because I'm kind of started to do not just like from one side as I show you before I usually I start like that then I flip canvas on another side I, uh, I start from the other corner and then now I'm just doing by the color through the whole canvas because now there's a lots up there already done so I can do by the color through the whole canvas so I already finished a whole bunch of colors up there and if you are interested um, I will show you a little bit update maybe in this video and show you how the canvas look like already now on this particular corner in here if you remember this canvas this will be and it's facing you right now as you can see the symbols not upside down to you uh, because it's easy for me so I can work upside down this is only dots this is top left corner of the canvas um, yes so I will work in here with multiplacer mostly with this one skinny one uh, and to show you skinny, I have in here my other, see, usually we we'll receive this diamond paint and this kind of clear one. And they usually a little bit more thicker. So with the skinny one, it's more easier. Um, I would say more precise you can get because it's thinner so you can see better your beads. Um, so we're gonna use multi-placer on this spot and then we will try to straighten them up together with you on the camera just to show you the whole the process how I will do because by using multi-placer I know my lines not will be straight um, further up there last night I was working I was working on a vertical line with multiplacer like this and I probably will do in here because more room in here I have a few more different symbols so I can I can fit like this so I will work in here horizontal and that will show you difference maybe visual what you can see if you work and I totally went a little bit after lines in here that's what happened and this is good example when you work with the multiplacer it's always going to be much more worse looking canvas than you would do with the one placer even I work in here with multiplacer I always recommend and will recommend to use just a one placer 
so your diamond painting will look much better and start from one drill and walk kinda so can you see this hot mess whatever line I put you 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 see how it's kinda like a shifting because it's difficult to create straight lines with multiplacer you think you're doing it good but then when you look for some reason all those lines are visible and you think why it feels like you put right in front of each other but it's not it's always going to be shifted so this is kind of like experimental going to be a little bit experiment for you in this drill with me video okay let me lift it up a little bit you see how it's not straight you can see every line I placed okay so for this multiplacer I really need to make a nice lines long lines on my tray just a minute I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit tap 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 well, at least like this right so we can get a few more lines How is everybody doing today? I'm not going nowhere. If we need some extra food or stuff like that, my husband always stop at the store by himself and bring whatever is needed to be but we don't go crazy and stuff in our fridge for a month you know thank goodness food stores are working normally long lines to wait but it's working so we're not gonna starve next week if this would be a normal days we was gonna go to Cuba to celebrate my 50th birthday unfortunately this is gonna be very different <laughs> birthday can't even go nowhere so we are going to stay home and this past week I was really I went a little bit depressed you know I cannot stand the fact that I'm gonna be 50 that this is a half of the century that's drive me nuts that I'm gonna be 50 and I'm not agree with my age <laughs> I'm not agree I wasn't agree I that's why for a long time I didn't do nothing with myself like to even feel better about myself so last night I finally say okay I have to cheer me up somehow so I did my nails with flowers just like that so now when I look on my nails make me a little bit more happy about myself then today I think I will do my hair because it's a lots of roots up there already I have to fix my hair and I always for the past few years did my own hair always 
by myself dye or cut so the lockdown didn't affect me for that reason and I'm sorry for ladies who can't do their own hair and you can't go do nothing with your hair because everything is closed so I'm sorry for that because some of you like to go like every month to trim a little bit right yeah so I'm getting used to it I need to get used to it to my new age last time I remember I was so upset about my age it's when I hit 20 and you think 20 what's so bad about 20 but for me that was oh my god I'm gonna be 30 one day because it's going from 20 to 30 and when I was 19 40 for me that was the old people and now I'm thinking oh my god really now I'm thinking 40 that was young 50 now is like oh oh it's a half of 100 now it's scary <laughs> yeah so that that's my crisis for today you see that's that's silly right that's silly but for some reason it did affect me but I'm, I will try to cheer myself up as much as possible and I know that all you supporting me on the other side of my screen and I'm receiving so much love from all over the world just to have you with me watching my videos enjoying what I'm doing that's mean a world to me you you cannot I cannot explain to you I'm just gonna start in here right in the middle I cannot explain to you how much I love YouTube what I'm doing and how much it bring me joy that you watch my video that you like my video it's it's changed my life dramatically when I started to create videos because till then I was really lonely person and now I don't feel that way now I miss you when I don't have a video for one day I miss you because I feel like you know I didn't stop by to say hello And I found my, you know, I found something that I was looking for years. And that was to find a friend everywhere I go. So thank you so much for everyone stick with me here. I will always love you. See, when I do vertical lines... It looks not bad, right? So that's why I always say when you do multiplacer, do vertical, don't do horizontal because you will have a more mass visible. Uh, her vertical, it's more straight in here, but it doesn't mean it will be more better this way. But that's what we're gonna create later. And when I finish this little spot, Oopsie. <clears throat> Just gonna sip coffee. We will strain them up with you together. Because even I do many videos, I still have kind of every time somebody would ask how I do so straight. What I don't really do straight if I create with the multiplacer I think this is the kitty cat fluff but I can't maybe this is just a color on the canvas no I can't pull it out <laughs> okay I 
I did lots. Of, oh, hello, shot. Oh my goodness, my kitty, say hello to you guys. Hey, shadow. Say hi. Yeah. Are you pretty kitty? Are you looking at birds or squirrel? You don't know. Oh, he loved to talk to me. Oh, don't get any louder, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, now you want me to... What? You want me to wrap your... Oh, my goodness. You want to say hello for real? Come on. Really? No more, no more, call it down, call it Siberi. Yeah, he's a talking cat. He loves to have conversation. I fell in love with him as soon as I saw him. He was for adoption in the store. And there was a uh, lots of black cats back then, and he was like the most attractive was to me because he was really fluffy. It's like a little fur ball, and that's it. I say we have to have him. We need to give him home enough for him to stay in a store in a cage. Every morning, he drive my husband nuts because he's asking for treats. Since my husband move, make some noises in the bed, that's it. Cat go to his side of the bed and mow loud till he wake up and give him treats. Because it was his fault to spoil him that much. So it seems like lots of you like my Easter stories that I were talking about. <laughs> and by the way, in Ukraine, Easter will be this coming Sunday. So we are one week ahead. No shadow, please go lay down. I'm not going to give you treats right now. Okay, please forgive me, everybody, because Kiri demanding I shouldn't talk to him, because now he wants to be spoiled, but I'm sure I will do that later. It's just right now when it's quiet in the house, and I have a chance to record some video video. Also I want to do my other box. Um, this kind of box that I have. I want to do the other one too. Oh you know what I did? Oh my goodness I screwed up big time. I'm gonna show you what I did and I don't know how to fix it. I broke my pan. This one. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I feel so sad about this. What what was right this piece like this piece um when it was in here on a pen it was barely visible it just went too much in a pen and like it was hard to catch the drill it was keep moving so i wanted to pull out a little bit like to make it longer 
but when I did I push and piece went too far and I tried to pull it out even with the pliers I couldn't do it so I stripped that thing totally and I still couldn't pull it out so now like you know this piece go all the way but there's nothing to catch in here so I so feel sorry to kind of I don't want to throw away so I'm still thinking if I can fix it somehow or not but that's what I did ay 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 sad story but what you gonna do oh, I just love this piece I have to somehow glue I don't know I need to do something with this fix it somehow but that's what I did unfortunately I shouldn't even try to fix it because I ruined and that was a pen from uh, paint uh, gem paint art I think that's the send me this pen with my um, diamond painting that I did the custom one of my picture so I'm sad I broke that was pretty I didn't work with it because the piece went inside and the tip was shaky so it wasn't comfortable to drill with but I just love the idea to have it because it was beautiful okay look how fast we did this piece because we use multiplacer I'm gonna refill my tray a little bit more and we're gonna finish the other side I still have full pack of same drill it's a big pack didn't open yet I'm just open one by one the colors that I already finished I have left of each color so far I finished one more gray color yesterday and um, which one I was working on trying to find it oh this one so this is all left over as well so the good amount left over of this one the bigger diamond painting and more drills left over Okay, let's create what I find the way I hold right it's more straight to line up drills go this way than if I would place by this row why because if I zoom a little bit more close back if we look like this you see how drills are sticking out from this side not as much from more flat from the other side if we look this way so the because the way I pick from my tray I press and then I kind of push it to the side way to line up my drills even better on the pen so they kind of all drills go to the left sorry from the left side to me for you it's going to be right side but so if I place on the left side from me it's more kind of visible what I'm doing than I would do in here so usually drills more um, kind of pushed to the wrong side if I would do from here so it's always more easier to do from left to right the way I'm looking at if you are right-handed that's what I should say it's better to do from left to right okay I have here shorter lines so we're gonna fill Four. 
you know what I like these days? My kitchen window open and the birds are chirping so loud, so beautiful that all day long I'm enjoying listening to the birds. And in the summer, because we have kind of like a parkway in the back house, so the birds would wake me up every morning because they sing in so loud. And in the morning, I mean like, they start, feels like it's five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock that you still wanna sleep. But the birds already go crazy. It's beautiful though. Okay, hold on, just to straighten up my drills a little bit more. Because of this multi-placer, those lines go away fast and I pour lots of drills in here so I don't have to refill too often. So I decided to do from this new side because um, I don't know if you remember the one side of the clear sheet on this area was sticking a little bit more stronger than from the other side. So I want to create in here a little bit corner of kind of cushion so my clear sheet doesn't stick too hard to it. Okay, it doesn't fit here, it will fit in here. I need five beads in here. So now when I place a little bit drills in here, the clear sheet not going to be stick too hard because I'm afraid sometimes to rip it glue out. But other than that, canvas is beautiful. Oh, I received the um, news about the peacock. Just got the email that they will do the peacock in full drill, but it's not going to be in the gems. Factory cannot do in gems. But still good news, right? Because that peacock and flowers was really, really beautiful. So at least it's going to be in a full drill. But I think they didn't say which drills will be. I think it will be in round drills, but still it's going to be gorgeous. And if you have a whole bunch of drills leftovers, you can create that peacock in a sparkle gems and rest of in a regular drills. That would be beautiful as well. It's not bad. It's you can see the wiggles a little bit, but it's not as bad when I look vertical. Make sure all those dots are covered, place right on the top of them. Uh, dot, it's a very simple, like very small symbol, but when you have a big symbols like letters, make sure no black ink is peeking through your drills. Not through, but they're like behind, because that way mean you did not place straight. Okay, in here we're just gonna do a few horizontal lines. 
to fill the spots. So now I will do, I'm gonna just slightly press and I'm gonna use uh, my big straightener, not in here right now, it's in my craft room with my other tray I guess. So I'm gonna try to show you with this little one how different that will make and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So what we see so far, when you work with multi-placer, and this is a good example, and I try to do my best to do as straight as possible, but it's never work, even as much as I want this to be precise. You see how lines crooked. So we are going to strain them up, and I will try to go before this lines because there's a drill missing in here so it's not going to be a um, kind of drills will push maybe a little so i will try it from the side what i gonna do i'm gonna use one of this straightener that dreamers design i have them right now in their kits i will go to my first line in here and i will push Because these tools are so thin, right now I went like right into the glue. You see how this line separated nicely. Oh, the other way. Okay. Now I will go. I would I would be start like from the beginning of the canvas, but for this video, we're just gonna do in here. So I'm gonna go to my next line and now this two line you already can tell probably that it's more straight. Okay, sometimes you don't have to go all the way to the glue because if your drills are very tight it's not gonna go all the way to the glue but at least go between like right now I can see in here this drill came out way too far that way but i need to move this way so i'm put in here and i go backwards and kind of get that drill into this line My other tool can do this in one swip because it's bigger. And sometimes when I push this side, the drills could move or unstick from the canvas. So you need to be kind of careful. So when I do, okay, let's just do a half of this point, okay, so we can see. So I did lines like this. Now I'm gonna do my lines horizontal. Without even dragging it, you can simply just like press, put between your diamonds and press down and keep going each line. Because when you drag in it, sometimes you push bead and you drag in your bead. So actually this way I like even better just to push down straight up from the top. Okay. I can see now and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing just to push down without without dragging just a little bit 
just to show you the difference make and you know this is big canvas but if I want this look good I have to do this especially when this is back around with the same color that it's more visible when you have a background not a background but lots of mix drills of different color they kind of camouflage each other and you're not gonna see it uh, but when you have a same exact color it's very visible when drills are not straight so after that I would roll my drills very hard so let me pick a boot through the camera view what you see okay I think it's pretty much you can tell that now okay maybe a little bit not as straight in here because you know you just have to go back and forth plus I think some beads are came out so I need to roll it but I think you can tell the difference now between um, this little patch that I did not touch it yet and this one look much more presentable now right it's much more straight I bet you can see it right see it's it's not bad at all and here is lots of wiggles so that's what make a difference to create diamond painting with the multiplacer and not to straighten or or straightener so big difference um, now I will show you a little bit more how much I did um, progress on my dreamer design canvas and I will finish this one I will work today on this canvas all day long and hopefully most of the at least back around because it's a uh, lots of the same color <clears throat> so I can create as much as possible um, see like now working with multiplacer on this white color then I have a whole bunch of this symbol T and that's my little rosebud in here that like on the beginning of the canvas so I will work as much as possible to present it to you very fast and in here again you can see um, that was my purpose I was doing it yesterday look at this you see the difference when I just use my straightener and in here I just place and that's it and I will straighten my canvas on the very very end but I want to show you look how big difference that make right it's huge difference so please um, find something if you don't have this particular tool it will work uh, fine in your heart well the stores now closed too but like a, uh, usually for the plastering walls you have those big tools uh, like I show you in many of my tutorials the white big one straightener anything sharp edges will help you to create your lines better so after I finish all this I will straightener and you will see that all these crooked lines will be gone so let's go show you a little bit more what I did with my dreamer design canvas I will try to fit in the camera view okay so in here I almost done this corner just like a few beads missing here and there and this confetti almost done everything in the bottom um, also a few drills here and there all this look at this green one AB colors beautiful uh, a whole bunch of this AB in white color so same thing I will straighten this beads after I finish the whole canvas because if I do this now the spaces where there is no drills yet it will kind of like a close in a little bit so and then I started we can see by the shimmer 
that I started more like from this side. Lots of done on this tree in here. All the way to the bottom. We can see like this a little bit more shimmers. So now when I do, I place my beads on this corner. Then I go to this side, place my beads in here. And then I just open like my canvas as much as possible, like uh, from the bottom, do from the bottom. Then I open from the top, like uh, push my cover like this way, right in here and work up there. Uh, so from side, from side to side and I start to place my drills all over the canvas and that's my favorite thing to do and this way I finish faster. So you will see this finished canvas in my, well tomorrow will be a video that I created will go live on Dreamer Design channel and this finished canvas will be my next video I will show you whole thing already done so if you're still thinking about order or not this is such a joy to work and you know what else I like when the part when it's already finished it's feel so heavy and kind of silky nice like it's just beautiful to touch drills are amazing so beautiful and those ABs lots of ABs in here on the top of the canvas between those trees because it's like the sunlight go through the branches from this side and that's what make like a tree a uh, shimmer from the sunlight and that's like a white AB up there it's like a um, yeah sign the sun shining through the branches into the water and that's why lots of ABs in here um, see it's it's not not straight you can tell it's not straight but it will be when I'm done with it so I really really enjoying to work on this canvas okay from me to you I will see you next time